Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories, let's start with the story. AITA for saying depression isn't a valid excuse for laziness. I'm 29, and I've always been there for my girlfriend who's 23. We've been together for four years and have been living together for the past year. She's always struggled with anxiety and has had bouts of depression, with some months being tougher than others. I've tried to support her through all of it because I know it's really hard on her. Back in January, she lost her job because of everything going on in the world. By March, she was really down, she wasn't eating much, cried a lot and was easily irritated all the usual signs of depression. I've done my best to comfort her and take care of everything. However, at the beginning of June I was allowed back to work, and since the house has fallen to shambles. I am too tired by the time I come home to do anything, even cook. Most nights we order takeout, and on the rare occasion she makes food. The floors aren't being washed, hoovering isn't being done, laundry is a mountain, and dishes are everywhere. I try keep on top of it, but with work it is almost impossible. She is home, all day. She lies in bed till late afternoon, watches Netflix, eats bowls of cereal, and naps. That's about it. I've tried to gently coax her to do more, and she says she will get to it, but never does. I finally snapped, told her I was sick of her doing nothing all day and leaving the housework to me. That if she is here and I am working, she needs to be pulling her weight. She got upset and said that she wants to but she can never find the motivation. That she is tired all the time. I said I understood she was depressed, but it isn't an excuse to do nothing and be lazy. No one likes housework, but I won't take any more excuses about it. She needs to start doing it or leave. Next day I come home to a clean house and a note from her saying she was sorry and is going to stay with her mother her mom helped her clean before they left. I tried calling but she wouldn't pick up. When I rang the house, her mother answered and had a lot to say. She was furious. Telling me about how she is struggling and I am making her worse that I should be supporting her not ignoring that she is in a bad place, and so on. I was told my GF had been crying all day in her bedroom, and I feel awful. I never wanted to hurt her, I just snapped. I tried to get her mother to give my GF the phone but she wouldn't speak to me. It feels like a lose-lose situation. On one hand I know depression results in lack of motivation and cleanliness, and on the other I can't stand to see our home in such chaos. I've never had depression, so I can't say for sure how bad it truly is. That's why I find it more difficult to 100% empathize. AITA for saying depression isn't a valid excuse for laziness. Extra info. She has a therapist and talks regularly with them. Her depression is worse since losing her job. Usually, she is quite clean and tidy. We don't usually have this issue. She is looking for a job despite depression etc. I have enough money to support us both in the meantime. Top comment. Spisabred 99, nah. I have depression and anxiety. It's hard to deal with it, I often have a hard time cleaning up after myself, which worsens during low times. I understand her lack of motivation. But you have the right to want to come home to a clean home. Working full time and taking care of a house without any help is hard. To me, it sounds like her moving back in with her mother came from more of an anxiety standpoint. My anxiety is significantly worse than my depression, and whenever my boyfriend even gets slightly annoyed at me, I go completely out of my way to overcompensate. Example, I spent the night at his house one night, and my dog threw up on his bed. I felt so bad, and in addition to cleaning his bedding really well, I went out and bought him new sheets and a blanket. He never asked for new sheets, just asked that I clean the puke off his comforter. I also cleaned his whole room. This might be what is going on here, but that's just speaking from my personal experience. The whole situation sucks. Nah my dude, when she's ready just ask what she needs from you. Mental health issues are hard to live for everyone involved. OP, ah yes. She is a little similar. Her anxiety makes her sensitive, and she does overcompensate a lot. On one of our early dates she spilled a drink on me by accident. Next time she had a brand new expense-eyed shirt for me, including a tie, after I said it was fine. And that shirt she bought was expensive. Started her period in my bed, which I assured her was absolutely fine, and like you she went out and bought new sheets and mattress protector. I think she overthinks things a lot, and when she does something, wrong, she thinks it's the end of the world and she need to make it up to me. After I snapped, I can see why she cleaned the house. I do not like that some people are suggesting she cleaned it to be manipulative. That is not her at all. Tathena 420, yeah why even though you're not trying to be. 
I get that you're tired but that isn't an excuse to be lazy. It's not a cool thing to be told is it? She's fighting a battle all day in her head against herself. For me, it was always as exhausting and debilitating as going to work at a factory job was so tried to take into consideration that she may not seem to be doing much, but she's still just as exhausted and it takes a mental toll on your self-esteem to know how little you're doing to be that tired. Likely part of what was making her depression worse was how much of a burden she felt like due to losing her job and most people I know with depression, myself included. Go to that thought pattern and you just verify that fear, so yeah, she's not gonna want to talk to you. What about offering a compromise where you both work to clean the house together when you're off work? That way it doesn't seem overwhelming for her, and it's also a way to motivate her to do it without making her feel it's entirely up to her to do. Or maybe you guys can set up a timetable for when they're done so she can try to get into a similar routine as work. Since she's seen a therapist maybe ask her to talk to her therapist about an idea that would work. Or potentially an antidepressant, but the attitude of, oh snap out of it is just going to push her away and make it worse. Try some heavy research into her type of depression and anxiety, and see what you can learn. Depression is just as much of an illness as a physical illness, it just affects the brain instead of a different organ so, when you discount symptoms of it as just being lazy, that can be very damaging for the individual you're dismissing. I hope things get better for both of you guys. OOP, thank you. I'll definitely take this all into consideration. I understand that I messed up and do want to make it better. Update. Ultimately I realized that the majority of the blame was mine. I never ever should have called her lazy because that isn't what she is, I lashed out, and I shouldn't have. She stayed at her mother's for a few days and we eventually met up too tall. I told her how it just got too much for me, but it was no excuse for lashing out and I apologized. She apologized also, not that she needed to, and we talked for a long while about how we can make our relationship work. I expressed my concerns over her therapist who is very against anything other than talking therapy. She agreed that he didn't seem to really have her best interests at heart, and she is currently looking for someone new. For now I suggested she stops looking for work. She got a lot of rejections and I could see it was upsetting her more. I just felt we should take a step back from that, and I want her to focus a little more on herself. She was unsure as she felt bad that I would be working for both of us, but I assured her it is fine. I make enough to support us both quite comfortably. I also suggested maybe she could volunteer at some point just to get her out and get some more stuff on her resume. I'm no therapist so these were just suggestions, but it has seemed to have taken some of the pressure off her which is all I wanted. We agreed that being in the apartment all day alone and in bed is not good for her. So we came up with a plan that she do an exercise video three times a week, it's only a 10 minute one, just so she is doing something. She has found she likes doing them, they make her feel a bit better after, and has started something called yin yoga now too. To help me, she has one chore a day to do. I don't care what it is. It could be dishes or it could just be putting the laundry in the hamper. This rule has at least gotten her out of bed for part of the day and she's found that once she starts she sometimes ends up doing more than one thing. I make sure to show my appreciation for whatever she has done, no matter how small it was. We have set out that every Sunday we will have a deep cleaning day where we get everything done for the week. This has been surprisingly successful. We make it fun and just mess around while still getting things done. It makes the week a lot more manageable when we only have light chores to keep on top of. She is trying more and I am also working on being more supportive about her depression. I'm researching it more and learning ways I can help her because it is a part of her. We are both putting more effort in and communicating a lot better. I hope we keep making progress because I do love her very much and want us to work. Thank you for listening to the whole story. Wishing you a wonderful day.